Yeah, so I feel like, clearly, like, there's just not enough eligible guys out here. I mean, I've been dating, you know. And I mean, what you looking for? Well, I mean, I'm looking for someone who's honest, integrous. I mean, you know, usually when guys say they want something, that's not what they really want. I mean, you give it to them and then now they scared. That's why we gotta acknowledge that men don't know what they want. There you go. No. If we acknowledge that, we can start from a base and realize, you know what? We, they don't know what they want, so we just give so them what they want. We don't know what we want. Yeah. Huh? It takes time to get all the information out to How much like, time do you need? You need to know what you want. How much time do you Well, I know what I want. Okay. But I mean, you have to, when you start a relationship, you have to both know what you're getting into. So we get into a relationship, or we just here for a minute, or it all depends on what you're looking for. I kind of like the go with the flow thing. Go with the flow, yeah. yeah. There's a problem with the go with the flow because even though you're going with the flow in your mind, you might be looking for a long-term relationship and he just looking to flow. Well, you got to express that. You can't expect him to be like, but, I mean, but even when they just looking to flow, I mean, it's just natural. It's the, I mean, it's natural for men and women to be together. So, I mean, naturally, like, if you're compatible, like, if you... I think if you just start being friends first, then it will grow into whatever it's supposed to be, or it'll, or it'll not grow. But I mean, you're right. Look, look, a woman, when they see a, a man, they just, they, they're looking for something he can change. Boy, he look all right, but if I get him a half cut and do a few pounds, he lose that, maybe he'll be all right. right. A man, look at that woman, she cooking, the sex good, don't you change. And three, four months down the line, you back turn to me. And, you know. Now, I have to be to differ with that because my ex-husband actually changed. He wanted, he said that, I hope you don't change after we get married. But after we got married, he changed. changed. I think one of the biggest things is is knowing how to deal with those changes. Yeah. So we are mm -hmm. changing. When the honeymoon over. Yeah. Because it started off good, everybody you know. love and having fun. Yeah. But then, you know, we don't want to speak to his other. I'm on honeymoon forever. Months. It don't work that way. What's the problem with that? What's the problem with wanting a honeymoon? Forever. It don't work that way. You gotta wear makeup all the time. You gotta comb your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transmission come out. Why you can't go to work and still give me a honeymoon? You can't. Just get old. But some days I'm not going to. That's their problem. It gets old. That's their problem. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do. Honeymoon is the last thing I'm going to do.